Alright, hello. How you guys doing today? Hope I find everybody in good health. Well, I just wanted to show you um, duct tape knife sheath, or rather machete sheath. I've seen this uh, video. It's not really a tag, but I wanted to thank uh, Really Big Monkey number one. i seen that video there, really neat video, showing how to uh, make this sheath. I did make a couple improvements to it. I want to show you guys that now. In my belt loop. Alright, now. It's pretty much, pretty simple here. I'm not going to show you guys how to make it because really big monkeys are done a good job of that. Um, just cardboard and duct tape. Um, a couple of staples here to hold my tie down for my leg. And some more duct tape over top of those. If you guys can see that there. You can kind of see the staple poking through a little bit. Yeah. Nice and smooth now. Made this here. Really big monkey didn't do this on his. But uh, I made that there to hold the handle. Just kind of cut halfway into both of those. Like connecting like that pretty nice and tight right around the handle. Holds it nice and sturdy. There we go. So I just cut a slit in here. Tucked it under the slit and back out the top. Duct taped over top of it a couple different directions just to make sure it holds it on nice and good. And then uh, went ahead and I made a smaller pocket here up on the top. He actually made a bigger pocket with uh, to tuck his saw in. I don't really have a saw to put in there. I do have this knife, a little bit smaller, fine detail work knife, I guess. A little compass on the top there. Nice uh, wood handle. Um, I'm not going to say what kind of wood. I don't, I'm going to say the name wrong and you guys are going to give me shit for it. But a uh, very popular, nice hard wood handle. Uh, I'll let you guys know later in the comments or description. Maybe I'll look it up for you. But yeah, got that knife there. Has a sheath for it, but I don't like it. This clasp here is real sloppy. The knife moves around a lot. It's real flimsy fabric here. I mean, it's not going to do much for protection if I fall or something. I don't want to get stabbed in my leg with that sharp knife. So, again, this cardboard duct tape. I took a pizza box sold from the freezer. Had a frozen pizza. Cut that up. Nice strip, tape the strip together, get it long enough. Nice, and you know, like I said, Monkey's already did this how to video. Just showing you some improvements here. Um, I got this ammo box that I covered in duct tape. Let me show you, I think I got one laying around. Actually, so went out to the range the other day and uh, sighted in my ACOG site for the AK. So I had a couple empty ammo boxes. I just took this apart, lined the inside with foil, uh, excuse me, duct tape, not foil, and uh, kind of waterproof the inside, outside. That's about all I did to the sheath, covered enough to kind of waterproof it. I had a couple spots here, you can see that still need a little more duct tape up front, maybe around the side. Put a couple extra strips for if I need to take it off and use it for whatever reason. So this is what I use the box for right now. I'll show you here. Got a little bit of a cotton cloth. Make some char cloth with that if I want to. Get that tied up tight there. Then I got uh, probably about 18 to oh, excuse me, 20 feet of uh, just some simple craft rope I found in my wife's drawer. Sharpening stone, keep a nice edge on there, real smooth sides, a little bit rougher edges if I want it. And then I've got a cell phone battery for emergency fire starter. Um, pretty sure it's got some power left. If I get some uh, steel wool or something, I could probably get that sparked. But uh, you could also, well, there's a couple other ways that 
you can make fire with this that you probably shouldn't unless it's an absolute emergency. But uh, these lithium batteries, if you stab them, once the oxygen mixes with the inside, they'll pretty much uh, combust right on the spot. So that's another way, if there's no power, you can't get no sparks, you can start a fire with that. So I just keep that in there. There's a couple other things I could probably put in there that I might add to it later on. I just added this on here last night. I made the sheath a couple days ago. Just kind of slowly been making small improvements to it. Uh, pretty nice and sturdy. I like it. You can get this here wrapped back up. And I'll show you how everything fits in there. Move my list out the way. And it tucks nice and sturdy right in there. It's kind of hard to open, so I put that flap on there actually uh, earlier this morning. So that helps out a lot. Get that open, close it up. Here's the ammo box. Okay. So, you get the main thing here. You get the machete. I'm show you the machete that I made it for. Had this machete for a while. It's a nice Brazilian. Tramontina. I actually had some rust going on here. I kind of refinished the blade and everything. See a nice patina on there now. So, yeah, that's the machete. So that slides right in there. I don't know if you see seen that or not. Catch about them, but see my side rail. As you'll see, the side rails, if you watch really big monkey's video, these here, like I said, fit nice and snug. You can pull them tight. But uh, if you watch uh, how to make this, the side rails are just a little folded piece of cardboard that go right here to give you a little width. And at first, I was just going to do it about part way and I found that it was catching like that so I folded another piece so I got two pieces in there it's not a solid piece going all the way across so I thought it might give me some troubles but it'll wear it eventually so there's the duct tape my sheath or excuse me machete sheath that holds the knife up front and I can tuck anything else in there I wanted to but uh, for now I kind of like that Sure, I'll find maybe a better use for it. Right, I don't need both of these if I don't need to. But this really isn't too heavy. It's maybe, uh, I bet it's at least a pound. So, it's getting very solid. Uh, the blade goes all the way through. And we'll just rub it on. I haven't really used it yet. Just got this from a buddy. I sold it to them pretty cheap for 10 bucks, so couldn't pass it up. And again, I hope you like the video. Uh, thank you, really big monkey number one, for uh, the video and the idea. And uh, where you got the idea from, thank them as well. But um, yeah, not necessarily a tag, but if you want to take it that way, really big monkey, if you want to make any improvements and show us, that'd be cool. Um, I always like your ideas, you got great videos. If you guys don't know Really Big Monkey, he's a very cool guy, great sense of humor, um, kind of a backwoods, bushcraft, um, do-it-yourselfer guy, DIYer. So, um, again, thanks Really Big Monkey, and um, I'll check you guys later. I hope you liked my first video. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, let your friends know if you do. I'll have some more videos coming up here, trails, uh, some camping, and uh, some fire starting here that I'm going to actually start practicing never really done that yet so it'll be a fun experience maybe we can all learn together all right see you guys later bye bye